Welcome to our Thursday yoga class. If you can find a comfortable seat on the mat, let's all come together. <clears throat> Take a moment to be in the moment. I encourage you to place one hand on the heart, the other on the belly. And if you're in a space where you feel comfortable and safe closing the eyes, I invite you to do so. As you find yourself on the mat, your sitting bones, legs, and feet making contact with the mat. Notice how that sensation feels. How it feels to be supported in that way. Notice the crown of the head reaching upwards. Notice your heart beating under the palm of one hand. Notice how it feels to have the belly expand with each inhale. Draw in towards the body on the exhale. Give everything that has ever happened. Life is everything we can imagine laid out in patterns of pain and passion. You cannot control us or keep your compassion. Breathe here. There are no factions. There is no us and them. Nothing to borrow or lend. No enemy or friend. And only togetherness can make that happen. The only battle was for fire. The Rwandan genocide and the seven sisters for giving Orion the power to chase. Notice how it feels to be in this moment, in the space that you're in. Take a couple more rounds of breath here. And we'll begin to blink the eyes open. Hands will come to the knees. Nice gentle Sufi rules. We'll come back into center. Let's inhale, fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, hands press together, lower to heart center. We'll inhale and reach. And press together and lower. One more time, inhale and reach. And palms press together and lower. 
The left hand will find your right knee, right hand behind you. Inhale to find length through the spine. Exhale to twist. If you are pregnant, bring that left hand in front of you. Exhale, come back through center. The right hand will find the left knee, left hand behind us. And if you're pregnant, bring the right hand in front. Inhale to find length. Exhale to twist. Back to center. We'll inhale or reach the arms wide. Find that length. And exhale, hands press into the heart space. Inhale and reach. Exhale into the heart. And one more time. Inhale, spread your wings. Exhale into the heart. I invite you to pause here to set an intention for your practice. Lower the hands, right one touches down on the mat. We'll inhale, left up and over. That stretch on the left side. Back to center, left hand finds the mat. And reach up with the right and over. Reach up, back to that neutral spine. Let's bring the arms out in front of us. Hands are shoulder width apart. And the arms are parallel to the floor. Let's give ourselves a big hug, bringing the right arm under the left. Big hug. The backs of the hands can press into one another or the right fingertips press into the left palm. Wherever you're at, you found your ego arms. Inhale, lift the elbows in front of the gaze and the nose. Stretch through the back body. Exhale, release. Shoulder rolls. Again, we'll inhale, arms out long in front, shoulder width apart, parallel to the earth. This time, left arm under the right. Give yourself a big hug, back to the hands, press together, or the fingers press into the palm. Exhale, release, shift your weight over to tabletop position to all fours. 
Flowing through cat and cow here as we inhale, we'll drop the belly, lift the gaze. As we exhale, we'll round the spine, gaze between the knees or to the belly button. And so flowing through cat and cow, following your breath. After your next exhale, we'll return to neutral spine. Finding that foundation, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Keeping the hips stacked over the knees, we'll walk the hands forward, lower the chest, reaching, reaching, reaging long, perhaps the forehead touches down to the mat. Anahata or puppy pose. Feeling that stretch through the armpits, the shoulders. Can I chase this ghost away? This too shall pass, this too shall pass. We'll inhale, bring the arms back towards the body. We're in tabletop. And let's tuck the toes, send the hips high, and downward facing dog. Take a moment, pedal out your feet. Use your circles through the ankles, the knees, the hips, anything here that will help you open up, find more space for your practice. As we inhale, we're going to bring the weight forward and bend the knees. Lower them almost to the mat. We're hovering. Essentially, we're here in tabletop with the knees lifted off the mat. The shoulders should be over the wrists. The hips should be over the knees. We'll inhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, shifts back, that hovering knee, tabletop. And then exhale, downward facing dog. And from here, as we inhale, we'll shift forward to plank pose. We'll lift the left leg, stay so 10 centimeters off the mat. We'll draw that left knee to touch the left elbow, back behind us, left knee into the chest. Exhale back, inhale, left knee, right elbow, and back into plank. Send the hips high, downward facing dog. We'll inhale, come forward to plank pose. This time, inhale, lifting the right foot off the mat, right knee to right elbow, and back, right knee into the chest, and back, right knee, left elbow, and back to plank. And then send the hips high, downward facing dog. We'll inhale, look between the hands, walk, step, or hop to the top of the mat. We find halfway lift, our flat back. Exhale, to forward fold. Take as deep of a bend in the knees as you need. Feeling that stretch through the hamstrings.
and bring the hands to the hips. Nice deep bend in the knees as we come to standing. Inhale, fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach. Inhale, dive forward, forward folds. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into plank. You'll find your back bend, whether that's through Chaturanga to up dog or to the belly and finding cobra. And then exhale, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, we'll look between the hands, walk, step, or hop to the top of the mat. We find halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, nice strong legs. You reach up, fingertips to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale and reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into plank. And lower through, finding your back bend. Exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, roll up between the hands, walk, step, or hop to the top of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, forward folds. Inhale, nice strong legs. Fingertips reaching up, rise up, stand up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Lower the hands to the sides, letting the pinky fingers brush the outer thighs, opening through the chest, broadening the collarbones. Tadasana, our mountain pose. We'll inhale, fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, sitting into your chair. Check in that you can see the toes beyond your knees. If you're leaning too far forward and can't see your toes, sitting the seat back. We'll inhale, come to stand. Left foot will take a big step back, finding warrior two. Right heel intersects the arch of the left foot. Arms come wide to a T. We gaze over the front fingertips. You inhale, exhale, windmill the arms forward. We'll lower that back knee, low lunge. Hands can be on the mat, the thigh, reaching to the sky. Wherever you're at, you want to feel that stretch through the front of the left hip. We'll exhale, bring the front foot, straighten the front leg, toes point to the sky. Walk the hands forward, plant those front feet, step back, downward facing dog. We'll inhale, look between the hands, walk, step or hop to the top of the mat, we find halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Let's grab, grab opposite hand, opposite elbow. That is a gentle sway here. Right 
Hands will come to the hips. We'll sit into our chair and inhale fingertips to the sky. Utkatasana, chair pose. Inhale, come to standing, Tadasana. This time, the right leg will step back. We find warrior two. And any of those adjustments you need, the legs, the heel intersecting the arch, the front knee, tracking to the pinky toe side of the foot. Bending deep into that front knee, working towards the 90 degree. And we'll exhale, windowing the arms forward. We'll lower that back knee, and we find our low lunge. Let's stretch through the front of my hip. Lots of options for your arms. Frame the front foot straight in front, my toes point to the sky. Stretch through the back of the leg. So we walk the hands forward, plant the palms, tuck the back toes, and we step back downward facing dog. We walk the hands and the feet to meet at the center of the mat. We're in our forward fold. Nice deep bend in the knees. We'll inhale, reach the fingertips up. Exhale, hands come to the heart center. So you all stay full, facing in front of your mat. I'm just going to turn so that you can see me. So we find eagle pose. So inhale, arms out in front again, shoulders apart, arms parallel to the floor. Bring the right arm under the left. Give yourself a nice big hug. Back the hands can touch. Fingers wrap into the palms. We have our eagle arms. And we'll exhale. Sit into our chair. Option to stay here or come to the tiptoes of the right foot. Option to stay here or that the right foot will cross over the left. Maybe the toes tucked behind the calf of the ankle. Ego pose. From here, bring the elbows in front of the nose. Work the knees and the elbows to the line, center line of the body. Tadasana pose once more. We'll inhale, bring the arms out in front. This time, left arm goes under the right. Big hug, or the backs of the hands pressed together, or the fingertips into the palm. We have our arms. And we'll exhale, sit into the chair. Option to stay here or come to the tiptoes of the left foot. You can stay here. The left leg crosses over the right. Perhaps the toes tucking behind the calf or the ankle. And the elbows in front of the gaze. Knees and elbows in line with the center of the body. And 
Inhale, rise up, untwist, do a shake of the extra long coat sleeves. So you are facing the center of your mat. Let's wiggle walk the toes off of the edges of the mat. So they're pointing at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. And we'll sit into our yogi squat. Grab some water while I'm here. With the elbows press into the inner thighs, the palms press together at the heart. Exhale, release the hands, they press down into the mat. We'll walk the toes back, finding our tabletop position. Have those toes tucked. As you inhale, lift the knees, just a couple of centimeters hovering off the mat. And the gaze should be down to the mat, just between the palms. Maintain that long neutral spine. And we'll inhale, lift the hips, finding downward facing dog. And inhale, the left leg to the sky. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. We'll inhale, rise up, high lunge. That back heel is lifted. Fingertips reach to the sky. Option to stay here or transition to warrior three. So we'll hinge from the hips, reaching the arms forward, bringing the weight into that left leg as the right floats off the mat. The table in front of me for support. The left leg is pressed down to the mat. Right leg long out behind us, foot is flexed. We'll exhale or finding our high lunge once more. And exhale, frame the front foot, step back, down facing dog. Let's inhale the right leg to the side, exhale, step it forward between the hands. We find high lunge. On the opposite side. Let the shoulders melt away from the ears. I'm breathing here. The option to stay here or beginning to transition into warrior three. Hinging from the hips, arms reach forward, press into that right leg, the left floats off the mat. And exhale, lower that back leg, high lunge. Frame the front foot, step back, downward facing dog. Let's inhale, walk the hands back to and feet. Walk them towards the center of the mat so they can meet. Forward folds in opposite hand, opposite elbow. Maybe you bring in a gentle sway. Or grabbing the big toe with our yogi toe grip. So the 
Index finger and middle finger come to the inside of the toe. The thumb is around the outside. We inhale to find length. Exhale to forward fold. Release the hands wherever they are. Again, walk the feet out to the edges of the mat, pointing the toes at 10 and 2, finding your yogi squat once more. the hands to the mat, playing with curl pose here for a moment. Hands are pressed into the mat, crouched up like a little ball. Option to stay here or come to the tiptoes, turning the knees into the armpits. And start to shift the weight forward. We bend the arms like we're finding chaturanga arms. As the weight is forward, playing, lifting one foot off the mat and lowering, other foot off the mat and lowering, and depending on how you're feeling, perhaps lifting both feet off the mat. Lower onto our seat. Inhale, fingertips to the sky. Exhale, let the hands touch down on the legs, the thighs, the shins, the feet. Spreading length through the spine, maintaining that long line from the tailbone to the crown of the head. We don't want to round through. The spine, you want to hinge from the hips. So inhale, walk the hands back towards the body. Let's cross the right foot over the left leg. <clears throat> Option to stay here and hug the knee into the chest. Or bring the right elbow to the inside of the right leg and find a gentle twist. Or perhaps you find a bind here. So bringing, wrapping the right arm around that bent leg left arm around the back and the fingers perhaps hook and touch. So inhale and untwist, press the soles of the feet together. And then Baddha Kanasana, butterfly pose. Inhale, sitting up, drawing the knees up, soles of the feet plant to the mat, give a windshield wiper back and forth. Now the right leg is straight across the left foot over. Stand up nice and tall, giving yourself a big hug, the option to stay here. The left elbow comes inside that left leg. Gentle twist, option to stay here, or perhaps you find a bind.
Release that twist. This time just pressing the soles of the feet into the mat, windshield wiper back and forth. And then we'll make our way onto our backs. Left leg long, drawing the right shin into the chest. Exhale and release and switch the legs. Right leg is long, drawing the left shin in. Both knees into the chest, give yourself a big hug. And then we'll send the knees over to the left, reach the right arm long, gaze to the right fingertips. Now bring the knees back through center and then over to the right. We gaze to the left fingertips. back through center and then let the legs reach long down the mat let the feet be wider than the hips let the hands be wider than the shoulders let the practice melt into the body as the body melts into the mat. Enjoy a few moments of stillness here.
Begin to wiggle the toes and the fingers, the breath and the body become more aware. Take a nice big stretch overhead. And then we'll roll to one side. Pausing here for a moment. We'll press up through the palm, come up to a seat. Thank you as always for joining me today, for sharing your practice. My hope is that um, your intention can follow you off the mat into the rest of your week. Have a wonderful rest of your day and take good care.